Hello, Paul. Welcome to my channel. I'm very, very happy to see you here. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great, Maria. Thank you for having me. Super excited. I appreciate you reaching out. And yeah, we're going to have a good video. We're going to do a good video today uh, on meme coins, right? Yeah, you know, I want to give uh, the like the best value to our community today because mm -hmm. a lot of guys and girls who are watching this, this kind of videos, they want to make profits on meme coins. That's the main goal. We want right. to talk about today and give as much value as possible to guys and girls. And, you know, maybe not uh, maybe not everyone from my audience knows you. So can you, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself? Because I know you have a lot of knowledge in crypto. And then we will talk about meme coins and how I actually make those millions in meme coins, right? Yeah, maybe we can even talk about three meme coin secrets that no one's really talking about. <gasps> yeah, let's do. Right? now. Uh, so I've been in cryptocurrency since 2017. Uh, that's when I started buying Bitcoin and everything. But uh, what people don't know is I'm actually in the industry literally since 2017 in C-level positions. So I actually moved to Poland as a CMO of a cryptocurrency company. And ever since, I've been working in crypto mar uh, companies in C-level positions. Uh, my, my last one being the marketing director of a fully licensed and, and regulated crypto exchange. I've written wow. multiple books in and out of cryptocurrency and blockchain. I've interviewed anybody who's anybody in crypto, uh, compiled them into a book, uh, work with companies, I consult companies, and I've even founded or I'm the co-founder of a new metaverse game that will be coming out. I do have a lot of experience with cryptocurrency in general. You can almost say insider. <laughs> <laughs> and I do know TA and technical analysis because I used to trade stocks and forex and actually teach it before I got into cryptocurrency. Wow, that's a lot of knowledge. So what what what's your thoughts about meme coins in general in general? Are you bullish on meme right. coins? Do you think it's like a gambling? Let, let's start by saying that meme coins are a gamble. Let's just put it out there. People need to know this. Yes, you can make money. It is gambling. And yes, you can skew the odds in your favor. So it's not like gambling, um, uh, you, you know, uh, blackjack or roulette. I would call it more like poker. If you know certain rules, you can up your percentage to win. That does not mean... Uh, that you're going to make money. You might lose everything, so be very careful. Just need to, to throw that out there. Uh, but I've been I've been a, a proponent of meme coins ever since uh, the, the two previous bull rallies. I was into Doge. I always liked Doge because Doge had something different. It had something um, unique about it. It was a meme coin, right? And it was it it wasn't trying not to be. It was, hey, yeah. we are a meme coin. This is what we are. We are fun. This is what we're doing. And what, what Dogecoin did, it used something called trend stacking, which we'll talk about later on. And that's why it became so popular. But basically, it's when you take two trends, you combine them together, add a third element, and you have trend, trend stacking, which is a business um, sort of look on how to uh, make profitable businesses and so on. Yeah. So I always loved meme coins. Uh, yes, you can trade them, uh, but there's unique ways to trade them, if you will. So... We have the established meme coins, which is Dogecoin, which is Shiba Inu, and now, dare I say, Pepe coin. Then you have really? all the other meme coins. Oh. Yes, I think Pepe coin is now an established meme coin as long as they continue doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, but these ones are, are traded different than everything else. That's yeah. the funny thing, right? Interesting. And, um, yeah, we can talk about it. And, and uh, if it's okay, let's start. Um so the first thing I got to say is if you're having meme coins, obviously you don't hold for a long time. It's not a long-term hold. You want to take profits fast. You want to take profits quick. But in a meme coin portfolio where you do take profits, these three uh, meme coins, now you have the third one, Pepe, but basically Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, then maybe Pepe, these ones you can actually hold long-term as long as you made profits, as long as you took out your initial investment, because those are going to probably run first, right? Wow. Those are probably going to run first. Then all the other meme coins, they're not going to last as long until proven otherwise, right? So you want to trade those a lot faster faster basically that's that, that's the name of the game just kind of like have you have how you have um uh bitcoin ethereum and matic you would have dogecoin uh shiba inu and 
Pepe coin. Now hear this, because this is interesting. I'll say this right now. Shibu Inu is to Dogecoin what Ethereum is to Bitcoin. Think about it. Ah, why? Because, because Dogecoin has, uh, me, um, Shiba Inu has all the innovation with the platform that they're trying to do things, just like Ethereum is. Yeah. Actually, Dogecoin yeah. was the first, just like Bitcoin is. Dogecoin oh. is supposed to be with transfers with Elon Musk and everything, they're doing that. But everything's running on Shiba, Shibarium and all that. So basically, if you look at the comparison, there you have it. Yeah, that's true. And what about Pepe? Well, Pepe is a runner-up. Pepe, look, every market cycle, we need a challenger. So the last mm -hmm. time it was Shiba Inu challenging Doge. Right now, it's Pepe Coin challenging Shiba Inu. So I do think that Pepe Coin will take market share from Shiba Inu. Now, I, a lot of people are talking about or asking or wondering right now, can it flip Shiba Inu? And the yeah, truth is, it? it depends on the time. It depends on the time. So as money flows into um, cryptocurrency, market caps rise. So even if Pepe Coin rises to the market cap of Shiba Inu, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to flip because Shiba Inu might go higher. And yeah, we don't care true. about the flip. We don't care about the flip. We just want to take market share. So a 5, 10x on Pepe Coin from this level is quite possible. Very possible, I, I would say. And that's why I'm saying it's trying to establish itself as a meme coin. Yeah. So so what does actually mean like long term for meme coins and short term for meme coins? What does it mean short term? Is it one right. day? Is it like right. one hour? Is it like one week? It depends where in the market cycle you are. But let me explain. Okay. Um, first of all, you want to take it's not so much in the length than it is in perspective when you get in how much gains you take. So obviously, if you get in the beginning of the meme coin run, we actually called it months ago on my channel, and we called Pepe, right? Not right at the bottom, but pretty close to the bottom. So whoever took mm -hmm. that made a lot of money. Um, basically, what happens is the, if you get in from the start, you probably have weeks to a month, maybe, depending on what happens with the bull market, if you're in the bull market or not. Right. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand that because all these meme coins, anybody can make them. You can literally make a meme coin nowadays for un un in under 15 minutes. And it's about three hundred dollars to do. <laughs> all right. It's nothing. Yeah. So they're popping up everywhere. OK, yeah. so what you don't want to do is you don't want to hold them too long because you don't know which ones are going to work. So you want to take profits. First of all, you want to take your initial investment out as fast as possible at a two, oh. three X. Okay. Then you want to take profits fast. Like mm -hmm. whenever, let's say you, I, I'm just going to give you an example. You bought $200 worth of meme coins, okay, or, mm -hmm. or, or of a meme coin. And the price mm -hmm. goes up to 500 okay? If it doesn't go, this is what we're aiming for, by the way. If you're, if you're getting into meme coins for anything less, then you don't, don't bother with meme coins just by Bitcoin. So as soon as it doubles or more than doubles, you want to take out your initial investment so you can play somewhere else because the narrative is going to change. Things change fast, Right. But when when that goes to a thousand dollars, take out half again. Then okay. when it goes to a thousand dollars again, take out half, and just keep on doing that. That's the, that's the best way to profit from meme coins. You don't you don't need to hold because you're holding and people are holding. You become exit liquidity. People will sell, will dump. People will get scammed. There will be rug pulls. There'll be a stupid thing that happens to the meme coin. Wells will sell. A whole bunch of things can happen. Bear market starts. Bad news comes out. There's, there's too many things that can happen. Somebody could sneeze and the meme coin will go to zero. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Right? So you want to be fast. You want to play this game fast. That's why you don't want to be a holder of meme coins. You just wait. You see the signs that the meme coin mania is coming and you get in. And then you get out and that's it. And you've talked about this as well, right? You've talked about this yeah. on your channel. I remember watching your channel and I think we even talked about this um, on because you did very well with meme coins, right? You, yeah. you mastered meme coins. And, and this is something that, you know, I heard from you as well. And it's true. It's very true. Yeah, yeah. And you know what is also interesting is how to find those early projects, early meme coins. How do you do this? How do you find? Uh, do you okay. research like every single day? How do you find this early meme coin projects that are not so scammy? <laughs> like I don't know. Right. Yeah. So, the, so there's a so the, so there's you know scams and uh, people really worry about meme coins being scams or not. But the truth is, it don't need to be a scam to go to zero. Be, yeah. People have less attention. Okay. So don't. I'm not worried about if there's scams or not. You can still make money with scams. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're gonna look if it's like 100% hacks or not <laughs> on the meme coin, but that's a different story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do it a little bit unconventionally. Let me explain what unconventional, why I'm unconventional. First of all, I don't look at technical analysis. I don't believe in technical analysis when it comes to meme coins. It's just it's mm -hmm. non-existent. Why? Because there's no mm -hmm. price history. No price history means no TA. So anybody talking about meme coins or cryptocurrencies that just came out, let's do crypto, look at this chart so it goes down and blah, 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 blah. It's all horseshit. It's non-existence, okay? <laughs> so okay. technical analysis. You can look at a chart where it just goes up, goes down, find support, and you know, you're like, oh, okay, now it's going to stay there. That, that, that's not technical analysis. That, that's called observation, okay? Yeah. So that's, you don't do that. Now, a lot of people start talking about meme coins. There's a lot of hype. There's a few ways to look at this. One way I use is using crypto bubbles. And I know it sounds weird. Um, and I, I can I can show you real quick actually. Yeah, let's do let's do. Okay, let me give you a permission. These are crypto bubbles. You probably have seen this. You see, you get to see what's going on in the markets. Let's say, for example, the top one hundred here. You see an overview of what's going on. The green bubbles means it went up. The red bubbles mean it went down. Okay, so bullish, bearish. Now. What this will do, you can actually go to the top 100 here at the right side, or you can go top 200, depending. But you can see what's pumping and everything. Uh, now, here's what I do. If you go, and I was giving an example before, and make a watch list of meme coins, right? What you do is you add all the meme coins in this watch list. So you just go down here, you put your meme coin over here, and you just add it. Okay. And this will give you an overview of what's going on. Now, over time, you'll see certain meme coins go higher than other meme coins. But what this will do, it will give you a perspective of what's moving, how much they're moving, and how much... Over time, you get you have a feel for things. Now, if you have Dogecoin, uh, Floki, um, Shiba Inu, and so on, that gives you a whole general sentiment of what's going on in meme coins in general. Now, it's very simple what I'm telling you. But if you actually do this right, if you actually do this and, and you have this crypto bubble sort of thing that you can look at, over time you start noticing patterns. You won't no. notice them if you don't look at it like this. It's just it's just visual and it just helps you. Okay. Now there are other ways you can look at it. You can look at Dex tools. I would say go to Morales Money by Ivan on Tech. Learn how to use Morales Money. It's a paid subscription. You can find things faster there. He ex he'll explain it much better than I do. Uh, but generally speaking, that's what you go. You go for sentiment, you look what's going on. Then what you do is you go to Twitter and you see who's talking about what meme coin. And when you go to that meme coin, you see who's following that meme coin. And if you see a lot of influencers following that meme coin, that means either they're friends or that meme coin's getting ready for marketing blast, which means going to start paying YouTubers to start shilling their project. Is it good or bad? Well, it's good for people that know how to use it in their advantage. It's bad for people that cheat people. So yeah. that's one of the things you can also look at when finding meme coins. And also trend stacking. What is trend stacking? Trend stacking is when you take a certain trend, add another trend to it, stack them together, maybe add a third ele um, element. So for example, Instagram is a product of trend stacking. Facebook is a product of, st of trend stacking. All big businesses, successful businesses around the world are products of trend stacking. So how can you use this in meme coins? Well, we've already, we already saw this. When we call the AI run in cryptocurrency, right? And then the meme coin run, it was only obvious that you have two trends, meme coins and AI. Where did you see pop up? AI meme coins. Yeah, right? true. Yeah. And that's going to happen again, by the way. So you have meme coins and AI being combined together. So guess what? That is what you're going to look for. What's the next narrative? What's the next trend stack or what projects are using trend stacking? So I have to learn from you a lot of things, I believe. <laughs> is there <laughs> any place where I can learn from you? Tell me. Yes, of course. Of course. There's. Um, I just developed, uh, first of all, my channel, obviously, we'll, li we'll link it down below. I know. Uh, I follow your channel. <laughs> And and please subscribe to both channels. These are both beautiful channels that will help you out a lot. Well, one more beautiful than the other, but yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I was talking about me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but also, I actually developed a meme coin course. If you don't mind me showing you this real quick. This is very just... interesting. Yeah, I support mass crypt adoption. I support mass meme coin adoption. So please share. Yeah, I will be happy right. to see. All right. Now, let me just start by saying you don't need this course. You can probably find most information. Well, maybe not all information, but most information for free. Or I, I will be. St I'll make videos over time. But if you want to get the advantage, if you want to get in early and actually have a place where you can learn everything there is to know about meme coins, this is it right here. So it's yeah. called how to actually profit from meme coins and not lose your shirt. Because you don't <laughs> want to lose your shirt. You, you know, yeah. you see people without shirts all the time walking around the streets. Yeah. Yeah, probably people that invested in XRP. Uh, but <laughs> speaking, you don't want to lose your shirt. All right. Yeah. I have this meme coin and uh, meme coin course that will actually tell you um, a lot of things. This is the curriculum right here. And as you can see, it's pretty extensive. Mm -hmm. Now, this will teach you how to buy and profit from meme coins, how to buy and trade them, recognize trends and narratives to, to use them to your advantage how to take profits, when to take profits, how to find meme coins early. What are, uh, we have ERC-20 tokens right now, but there's also BRC-20, SRC-20, DRC-20 tokens are coming out, right? So all these are things you need to know to get the advantage, competitive advantage to trade meme coins. And right now, it's an early price of only $197. This is an early bird price. This price will go up. The okay. reason I have it early, uh, at $197 is because I want to get your feedback. I actually mm -hmm. want to get your feedback so I can make this the best meme coin course worldwide. I so will buy it today. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. <laughs> and under age section, there's a feedback form. So you get to say what you like, what you don't like, what you recommend. You have questions. You can ask ask questions. I can answer them for you. And then those get put into the course as well. So it's real-time updated. And you only pay once and you have all the updates for free. Uh, this is not financial advice, of course. But if you want to lift your knowledge in meme coins, I would definitely look into something like this because I haven't seen any meme coin course mm. on the crypto the space yet. Yeah. Wow. It will, it I will think it's be the cool. first one. And, you know, we, we, we talk about, we, we, we've been talking about trend stacking and everything. Um, mm -hmm. But you also want to be looking at different narratives. For example, we, we know ERC20 tokens, right? Yeah. Now, a lot of people think that the gas fees are a minus. It's actually a blessing in disguise. Okay. Let me, let why? Me, let me, why? 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 So, well, very simple. And people don't really think about this. This is also in the course, by the way. But then you'll get an idea of how extensive this course is. Okay. So when you pay gas fees, let's say you're making a meme coin and you want to buy $100 or $200 worth of that meme coin. And I don't suggest anybody buys it anymore. Okay, really, I don't. Now, the gas fees could be $50, $60, $70, or even $90. It could be 50% of the money you're putting in extra. Yeah. And that doesn't yeah. make sense. You're like, oh my God, why should I pay for the fees? I'll just wait for the exchange. The problem is that this gas fees is what keeps people holding on to meme coins. See, if I'm paying $90 for a meme coin and gas fees, I'm not going to sell it when it 2x is because I haven't made my money back. Ah. I'm going to hold it more, 3 to 5x, then sell it when it makes sense because I have to pay the fees again. I have to, make the, I have to pay the fees again. Just buy and sell. Wells know this. Developers know this, and they develop on Ethereum because you have less sellers, and they have more time to FOMO, accumulate, and create the hype. Now, by the time it goes to the exchange, people are selling. And when it gets listed on the exchange, you exit liquidity. So people that pay the fees on Uniswap using a decentralized, uh, decentralized exchange have yeah, the yeah. advantage. They pay the fees, they pay to play, but you exit liquidity. Does that, okay. On PancakeSwap, I could sell tomorrow. But, when it, but, but you have to do what's hard and pay to play to make money in this case, right? Once it's on the exchange, what are the people that got in early doing? Well, first of all, the, the, the how can I put seasoned traders are selling because they don't pay fees on exchange, exchanges while you're buying because you're hyped up because you're listed on an exchange. But the OGs have already sold before it went on the exchange, paid the fees, got out, and that's it. That's why they always dump when they go on an exchange. Look at any meme coin in the market, almost any meme coin. No, any meme coin on the market. As soon yeah. as it gets this exchange, what happens? Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, te technical analysis. No, it's not technical analysis. It's a pattern that we know because we know what's going to happen.
Guys, I hope you made some notes today <laughs> because it was a lot of a lot of useful information. One more thing, Maria, just because I like giving a lot of value. I, I like giving information. I really like helping people, okay? You have Ethereum, so the gas fees are a blessing, but then you have different chains that are much harder to do. So we called BRC20 tokens and ordinals, and we also called SRC20 tokens and stamps on the Bitcoin chain. And I made tutorials yeah. on how to do this and everything pumped like crazy. And they're going to pump again because people haven't learned it yet. Do what's hard. I had a friend, he's a multimillionaire. He, he always told me, you know why I'm so successful? Because I'm always willing to do what's difficult and what other people aren't willing to do. And it's true. He opened up 17 offices, sorry, different offices in different countries like Iran, like different places, right? So do what's hard because everyone's doing the easy stuff, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. So now it's DRC20. What's DRC20 tokens? On Dogecoin. On the Doge chain. Yeah, I know. And Doge is the father of meme coins. If Doge is the father of meme coins, where do meme coins belong? This is the narrative that's going to come soon, right? So there you go. I'm so excited about your course. I'm so excited about this meme coin season. And uh, thank you so much for today's talk. And uh, yeah, we will leave all the links in the description, guys. Go check out all the links. Check out this course. If you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, buy it anyway, because you will have a lot of insight there. And uh, thank you, Paul. See you in the next Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.